Welcome to the Juicy Bits and Things podcast, where we offer women a space to find the courage to not feel guilty when saying no to others. Through consistency, setting boundaries, and creating sustainable habits, it permits them to walk away with the win. Creating this win just means we show up for ourselves first. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Juicy Bits and Things. And I hope that you have all had a a wonderful, it was self-love or Galentine's or Valentine's Day. I hope that you truly enjoyed. I saw so many comments on Instagram and Facebook and I thought, you know what, this would be a great time to have a big sister conversation. And I want to ask you the question. If you are one that, you know, you have gone through a breakup, are you thinking about your ex? Are you thinking about your ex? Are you trying to think about whether or not you want to get back with them? You know, really, is it a good idea? Are you thinking about those things? I know my sister girls and I, we have this conversation We, over the years, we have had it, whether it was me or them, but it has, it's, it, to me, it's one of those conversations that go, that honestly, it, it doesn't matter what generation you're in, you are going to have this discussion should, you know, should you try to make things work with your ex. I am one that's a firm believer an ex should stay an ex and don't go back. You may not agree, and and I respect it. A lot of people feel that, oh, you know, I got back with my ex and everything worked out fine. Well, leave me for pause if that's the case, and hey, maybe it does work. The only way I can see that something like that can work is both people either are staying the same or they both have changed. Because the person's an ex for a reason. And whether it's for emotional reasons, mental reasons, behavioral reasons, spiritual reasons, it's a reason. Whether it's you on your end or whether it's on their end. When you go back to an ex and you have changed, you have grown, you have listened to videos, read books, you're practicing different strategies that they have out there for personal development, self-help, and and all the things of self-love that we can add to our cup. You know, you're diving into the word more, you're doing things. And here this person comes around because now you got a different glow. You got a different walk. And a lot of times they'll say silly things like, oh, we never gave us a chance. I know, I gave it a pause. And then it leaves you to start questioning. Or they'll say, man, I can't believe I let you go. But now that you're not with anyone, you know, let's, let's see how this works. I don't understand why you didn't want to be with me. You went off to yourself and, and you know, and I love you. What? I know. It, you're probably sitting up there going, if you haven't, I mean, and, and there's other things that people can say. You know, oh, at the time I wasn't ready, but now I see that you were good for my life. What? We each have growing, but are you going to grow together and, you know, and, 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 and work through it? Or are you going to grow apart? Because if I'm growing over here to the right and you're doing your thing to the left, we're not together. Not that you're going to be the same person. You're not going to have the same thoughts and opinions about things. But an X is an X for a reason. Turning your head backwards will make you step backwards. You might step in back to the same pattern of behavior, same attitude, same 
you know, thought processes. You, you can't change the way you think if you aren't willing to allow yourself to feel different so that you can behave different. Right? If, if you don't do that, it's impossible. So many people, so many women I hear say, oh, girl, I got myself together. I don't know what his problem is. But maybe it was her. And you're now the ex. He let you go because he couldn't handle dealing with you. But then also, we attract who we are at the time. Technically, if that person comes back, it's because that piece that they're attracted to is still there. And I know some of you are going to be listening to this. You're going to be like, Alenia, I got my ex and, you know, we did, we did fine. But are you together now? Or, you know what? I ended up marrying my ex. But like I said before, the only way that can work is the two people cannot be the same two people. It's impossible. People have to grow and, and evolve. And if you don't grow and you don't evolve, how in the world do you think that that ex is really for you? You love the pieces of them that fill that part of your cup that you need to be filled. Remember, we're supposed to be giving people our overflow. Not what's in our cup. Because what's in our cup, we have to do that work. But then if you're looking for that person to pay you attention, to spend time with you, to spend money on you, to, to go to, you know, family functions with you, to have sex with you, whatever it is, whatever it is that you need from that person, or rather that you want from that person, because you can get that, those things from it, someone else. Really, they're just a convenience. I'm not going to sit up here and say I've never been in a relationship out of convenience. I was. It was the most miserable, unfulfilling relationship that I could have. And I actually had several because each person that I had those unfulfilling relationships with, those unhealthy relationships with, I wasn't healthy. I wasn't being honest with myself. I wasn't making good choices for myself. I was taking on their burdens. And I was making excuses for them. I was accepting of them. And that wasn't good for me. And you might be doing that too. As I had said in our last episode, I use this time... February 14th, this time of year, to really revitalize my self-love for myself, to reevaluate the relationships that I've had during the year. What can I work on for myself? I'm not looking for the, the, you know, the other person. Because even people that are in your life, they may not even be an ex, you know? And I'm not just talking about an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend at this point. I'm actually just talking about an ex. It can be friendships, right? Just plain old friendships that you no longer have. But sometimes people will be moved to the side because you're giving off a different energy. And that energy could be that you don't have the time nor the desire to deal with their foolishness. And they know it. So you don't hear from them for months. Then they might come back around and you still have, you don't have, you still have that, I don't know, I'm, I, you know what? I don't have the time nor the desire to deal with your foolishness. 
and they know it and they'll mosey on along. That's about an X and thinking about whether you should try to work things out and is it really a good idea? Alenia is going to say, no, it's not a good idea. No, it's not. And I, I'm sure in the comment section, and I hope that please give me your opinions. I, I you know, I want to hear it. Unless the two of you, unless you have truly worked on yourself, you're just getting the same person that you left or they're getting the same person that they left. You haven't, you haven't changed anything. Still doing the same foolishness. You know, if he, if he's cheating, he's still cheating. If he's a narcissist, he's still a narcissist. If you're, you know, if you're lying, faking, I mean, we all, when I think about it, and I'm, I mean, I, I'm not going to leave myself out of it. Because like I said, I used to do the same thing. Those bad relationships, those unfulfilling relationships, I was just as much to blame. Now, when it was over, I didn't go back to him per se, but I would get another ball of mess. And then another ball of mess. It wasn't until I got myself together and really started investing in me and not in them that I started to change and I started to desire something different. So that meant that when that X comes back around, you have no time nor desire and they feel your energy. They completely feel your energy. They won't call. They're not going to text. And if they do, it's on a random and they're going to say something like, oh, it's just a friend reaching out. If you don't have the time nor the desire to respond, to say, oh, I'm doing well, then you don't have to. You have that right. But you make the choices for you. <laughs> I remember those days of feeling sad. I do. I remember those days where I felt lonely. And it's just like, I, I just, I knew, I, I would tell you if, if I, if someone were to ask me, was I in control? You know, did I feel like I was in control? I would say, oh yeah, I was, you know, I'm in control of this. I see him when I want to see him. Okay. You might think you're in control, but you're not really in control. They're just filling that, that part, that piece. They're not an enhancement on your life. They're just filling that piece. Whatever that, whatever that piece that you want, that's what they're fulfilling. It's not until you want more and you do the things that you need to do to get more that it becomes more comes better that don't have to look back and I know some of you are just like well he's doing he's doing that for her well the reason why he's doing it for her is because she required it why couldn't he do that for me I was there for him I was by his side you just were not the one don't look at it like that. When you begin a healthy relationship with the one person, that person that enhances your life, you are going to do things different. You're going to desire differently. Your time is going to be different. You're going to walk different, talk different, think differently because they're enhancing your life. If you did not enhance that person's life, male or female, then no, they're not going to do those things. Doesn't make you a bad person. It just doesn't make you their person. I guess that's the best way to, to say it. 
does not make you a bad person. If they choose to behave a certain way, not do certain things, it's, it's either they don't want to, you haven't required it, or you're just not their person that they want to do those things with or do those things for. And guess what? It's okay because you have a choice. You don't have to deal with that. So, I know we kind of was talking about several things when it comes down to your ex. Girlfriend, are you really thinking about going back to your ex? Do you really think it's a good idea? Do you really think it's going to work out? I don't know. I don't know. Only thing you can do is try. If that's what you choose to do. But understand, if you have grown and he has not, you're going to be going in the same cycle. The same pattern the same experiences as you were before. Ladies, I do understand those feelings. And that sometimes you just, it's like, you know, why? Don't waste your time on, on, on why and with a person that you're not even compatible with that you can find so many things that they're not doing and they treat you like crap. I wanted to say something else, but I didn't because I do want this to be monetized one day. <laughs> However, if you accept the crap, they'll give the crap. They're not going to give you anything different and you know that. If, and it's okay to mourn your relationship. Learn from that. Begin the process of healing so that you can move on and attract who should be in your life. Yeah, that that's the best way that I can put it. If someone were to ask me, should I go back to my ex? Should I deal with my ex again? My answer is always no, but I support you if you decide to do it because that's what you want to do. All right, ladies, another fantastic episode. We were discussing, are you thinking about your ex? Do you really think it's a good idea to get back with your ex it, should you try to work things out with your ex so that was our discussion for today don't forget that hey we have some um, little mini coaching sessions on my youtube channel alenia renee that's posted every Thursday or Friday, depending on when the spirit hits me. However, the content is there for you. There are plenty of conversations on there to help you with creating consistency in your life, setting boundaries, and um, developing sustainable habits so that you can, you can do the things that matter most to you. Don't forget that we change our thinking and with that we change how we feel which ultimately changes our patterns of behavior because we should give to others our overflow. All right, thank you. I'll talk to you in the next episode.